Hi, my name is Samantha Boss, and I'm with the University of Texas at Austin. And I'm here today with Project STAIR to talk about tips for virtual assessments. In light of the recent need to pivot to online instruction for many schools, this video will cover tips for conducting assessments in a virtual environment. First of all, make sure to review and follow your students' IEP accommodations, not only because we are legally required, but also because the accommodations in a student's IEP have been created by the IEP team to best fit the strengths and needs of that student and must be carried out on each assessment. In properly carrying out the appropriate accommodations, teachers will support fair access to the tested materials for all students. When using a digital assessment tool, the teacher should practice using the assessment platform before providing the assessment. The teacher should also make it available to students and families so they can practice using the assessment platform before taking the assessment. Consistency and simplicity are important when communicating with families about assessment plans and the results. Think about your goals for the assessment and evaluate whether your chosen assessment method and tool achieves that purpose. The purpose of virtual assessments should not be summative or accountability. With formative assessments, you will be able to monitor student progress and make changes to the curriculum based on student needs. When creating a plan for assessment in the virtual environment, be aware of potential inequities that exist when we aren't in control of the testing environment. Consider how you include these assessments in your grading practices. Ensure that they are included only to the extent that they support learning and that they are not based on access to resources that all students may not have. Work with students to build agency and self-regulation for independent test-taking skills and offer assessments in multiple modes when possible. Finally, if you're interested in, the, in additional resources related to assessment in a virtual environment, there are several linked in the description below. We include iStation, the Center for Assessment COVID-19 Response, the Council for Exceptional Children Research for Teaching Remotely, and a variety of other uh, websites and tools that we will include in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video on tips for uh, providing virtual assessments. We hope you'll check out our website as well as follow us on YouTube where we have lots of great videos on supporting your students with mathematical difficulties. Thanks and I hope to see you soon.